Smith, and I am the executive director of the South Carolina Bar and Tavern Association. We are here at Local Q, uh, here on Orchard Park Drive in Greenville, to discuss what we have been talking about for, probably, well, the SC venue crisis originally started talking about this uh, over a year and a half ago, about the issues with the alcohol liability laws and how uh, it is devastating uh, businesses likely is like local Q. Uh, you've got a few places here in Greenville that have closed down because of this issue. Uh, Ties on Wade Hampton. Uh, you've got Blind Horse, which is a huge uh, country uh, music place that was around for about 29 years. I believe Leah, you've been open 10. Yeah, 10 years. So, uh, and then uh, so we've got some bar owners. We've got some members of our board. Uh, who will speak. Uh, we've got Frank Farmer. He is uh, uh, running for county council, almost said state rep, but county council here supporting us. Um, we've got some other owners here uh, of different uh, bars and taverns and brewing companies. We've also got, I saw some distributors. Uh, I believe uh, some of our liquor and beer distributors are here, KW Beverage I see, uh, and a couple others. So uh, we've got Brandon Brown, uh, who runs Upstate Family Funeral Services. Close enough, friend, sorry. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, he's a local business owner. Insurance is not just uh, killing business owners like this, but it's also hurting his business as well. That's why he's here supporting us. Uh, we've got insurance agents who are here. I know the Turner Agency. Uh, our state senator, Ross Turner, who is a big proponent of helping us fix this issue. So what we need to do, and what I'm asking everybody who is listening, is we need to contact, I want everybody to contact your state rep, your state senator, and the governor, and tell them we need to pass S-533, which is the SC Justice Act. Uh, you know, Jason Elliott, who is our state rep here, uh, he unfortunately couldn't make it for a prior commitment, but uh, he's been a big proponent of ours, uh, and I wanna thank him as well. Uh, and Eddie Martin, who owns uh, the Joe Cassie Brewing Company, he is a board member. Eddie, you wanna say a few words? Sure. I'm a proponent of small business, and small businesses are getting killed by this bill. We are uh, facing increasing insurance rates Every time you talk to an insurance company, they have to go up on insurance because they are not making any money in South Carolina. Uh, a lot of them have pulled the plug on covering venues such as mine and breweries and bars and taverns. And it's just making it very, very difficult to continue to stay in business. Um, Local Q has announced yesterday that they are no longer able to serve beer here. And that affects them in a tremendous way, being a, a, a venue that they are. Um, and this is going to continue and continue until there's not very many uh, local operations left, any mom and pops situations left. We're all facing tremendous odds here, not counting everything that we do already costs us, but this insurance is going to put us out of business. We need state legislatures and uh, representatives contacted we need you as the public to state that we need this crisis fixed now <coughs> not wait until January when the session comes back in we need called session we need somebody acting now on this problem so that it can be taken care of before we have more and more venues and businesses go out of business in South Carolina if South Carolina is for small business it is time to step up. Thank you, Eddie. Uh, Frank, you want to say a few words? Yes, sir. Well, I wasn't planning on speaking tonight or this afternoon, uh, but thank you so much for uh, giving me the opportunity. In these times of economic hardship, this is not the way to help our small businesses by jacking up their insurance rates and their costs. Um, people's lives are depending on this. and. You know, I'm not even like a big drinker or anything like that, but I just have a heart for all the people that are suffering because of this. And uh, I think we have to do whatever we can in order to bring these costs down, in order to alleviate 
the financial costs for our small business owners. Thank you, Frank. Okay, and I want to introduce Leah, who is the owner of Local Q. She's going to say a few words. Um, I just wanted to make sure it was clear that um, I let everybody know that I've never been against this law. The premise behind it was a good law. The intent behind it was. The problem is loopholes have been allowed to stay open in it that has caused this to happen. I don't believe it was the intention, but we really need help. And I would really love the community support to come out and help us recreate who we are after this and now becoming an all ages brand and becoming a completely new business in a lot of ways. Um, so I would really like your help so that we can navigate through this and hopefully one day add alcohol back in when everything's fixed. Thank you. Issue, so your insurance, if I got the numbers right, went from 60,000 to 114,000 to 361,000. 41. 41,000. That is $341,000 for an insurance policy to sell alcohol is absolutely outrageous. And this is the problem with the law. And this is what we need fixed. Listen, you, it, it's trickle down economics, basically. You've got an owner, he, he, she buys beer from him as a brewer, right? So that's no longer happening. You've got distributors out there who employ people. You've got bars who employ people. Now you've got people out of jobs. People are losing their jobs left and right because of this as well. So it's a trickle down effect and it's gonna to continue to happen in this state if something is not done now. And that's why we are here today as we, and we'll continue to be here. We're not going anywhere. We will keep beating this drum until something's done. We cannot wait till January. So you need to call the governor, you need to call your state rep and your state senator and tell them this needs to be fixed now. Thank you very much. Once again, my name is Chris Smith. I'm the executive director of the South Carolina Bar and Tavern Association. And I want to thank you all for being here today. Have a good one.